Last Sunday, he wrestled national champion Peyton Marco from Missouri. This, today, he has Shane Griffith, the year before last national champion yeah, from Stanford. Uh, so, Keegan O'Toole, O'Toole, Keegan O'Toole from Missouri. That's who he wrestled. Keegan O'Toole. Who did I say? I said Peyton Mako. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, Keegan O'Toole. Good to greet. Mako is the 74 uh, pounder. Yeah. This Thanks is, for catching that. And this is Shane Griffith. Yes. Two years ago, big hit at the NCAA. Yes. Won a tough NCAA finals bout and was getting the support from the crowd there because Stanford was, had dropped the program and announced that. Right. And fortunately, people came together got the program going. Yes. <clears throat> well, irony, uh, Wyatt Sheets, by the way, redshirt senior, 12 and nine, ranked 25th. Shane Griffith ranked number three right now, so redshirt senior, 20 and one. And here's the irony in that. His only loss was to Caliendo from North Dakota State. That gave North Dakota State the dual victory yes. by one point. And if, I'm not saying it was the last match of the day, but you would expect your national champion to win there. Right. And had, that's probably Stanford's best wrestling match this year so far. Yeah, was a doubt. Because North Dakota State's a very good team. They are a team. very good team from top to bottom. You're exactly right. You were talking about challenge week. I could almost say challenge month. <laughs> Sheets, in all due respect, at 165 pounds, dealing with the guys that he has to wrestle in the Big 12, such as the Yants, the Cars, the, uh, the O'Toole's. O'Toole's. You know, now you're going out of conference in Pac-12 and wrestling a... a Shane Griffith as well. So well, well in the big club, we've only got number one and number two of the nation. <laughs> O'Toole in, from the Missouri, then uh, David Carr from Iowa State. So easy field. <laughs> oh goodness gracious, it's, it's it's nuts. Then you also throw in you know the North Dakota State wrestler as well. So and just to let you guys know out there, guys and gals know, we found out what uh, Gefeller and Derek Hart were saying to each other. They were just saying Happy Valentine's, have a good Happy Valentine's. That's, That's it. Saying. That's it. The roses are in in the mail. Obviously. They're on the way to yeah. you. And we're joking on that, so <laughs> have a little fun with the process. Good hard wrestling, though. That's, good hard wrestling. We've had, we've had very good matches. All four of these have been good. Yeah. You know, a lot of action and a lot of uh, stressful situations. Yes. For both coaches saying, oh, my gosh. Yep. <laughs> Griffin is a long. Him and O'Toole are kind of built extremely similar. I think O'Toole may be a little bit thicker just looking at him up close. Griffin may be a hair taller. Yeah. He is yeah. lanky. Yes, he is. And he's not a big pinner. He's just really, and he's a great scrambler. Mm -hmm. Really great scrambler. He's there. He gets in a good high crotch, and then Sheets trying to fight it. Small oh. position, but oh, Nothing Sheets yet. hooks that hooks that leg and stayed out of danger so far. He's got to probably watch a cradle here from Griffith, but Sheets is hanging on to that leg. Here's comes this leverage part right here. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of leverage. But Sheets is doing a good job holding that leg so far. Let's see what happens here. Short time, Jay. Yes. Only two seconds, one. And Sheets lives to fight another day. Yeah, nothing there. So it is Sheets' choice. Oklahoma State has a choice in the even matches today. You know, Coach Cole was talking about the type of individual and young man that Shane Griffith is and what he does for his program. Obviously, as you stated earlier, what he did for the Stanford wrestling program and bringing them back and doing what he did at NCAAs that year. But just a funny kid, charismatic type of individual. Good to have him there in their program. Good face with, for the program. What he does on the mat and almost more importantly, what he does off of the mat. And he didn't signal stalemate, but he did stop it. Not sure if it was stalemate. He just didn't do the traditional sign or what. Yeah, he was great in the oh. post-match post interview. Sheets going for two and gets wow, two. Nice switch by Sheets there. As soon as he hit that switch, he threw that right boot in. Now he's got hip pressure on Griffith here. Got him stretched out a little bit. Beautiful switch by Sheets. Getting cranked up and so he can flatten him out. But ride time now is going back in Sheets' favor here. Minute 20 left in this second period. Traps the left, left wrist. Mm -hmm. Leg thrown in. Griffith might do something really funky here in a minute. Because he has got some great moves underneath. Now this is a part. They're going to seal him off. They may call Sheets for stalling because he's got to get him to the mat. He's doing a good job of trying to get that leg out. They, there was yep. a stalling warning of him. He knew it was coming. Yep, yep, yep. And he releases him two to one. 
Good patience by Griffiths there, right? Getting to his feet, taking his time. Obviously, understanding that if Sheets doesn't put him back to the mat, he's going to get that stall call. Sure. Sheets did a good job of finally getting that leg out and just ended up releasing it. And he actually ended up, even though starting the period on bottom, he's got 38 seconds right in time. Kind of going for an ankle pick. Griffith did a good job of using that length, and I think he still had his wrist, if I'm not mistaken. Short time here, Jay. Short time. That final 15 seconds. Can someone score? Sheets a duck under, but not quite there. Good move, though. Duck and missed him. Mm -hmm. Huh? Good reaction by Griffin. Yeah. Get out of it. And that'll end the period. The two to one lead. Let's take a look at this reversal by Sheets at the start of the second period. It's nice. It was a beautiful switch that he hit here. Right off the whistle. Bam. Caught Griffin. I think Griffin was trying to spy a ride to get in early, and Wyatt or Sheets timed that just perfectly where he was able to get that reversal. Well, that showed you the value of making the first move hey. off the whistle, doesn't it? So, Griffin to his feet. Sheets gets him back to the mat. Griffith's back to his feet and spins out of there nicely. Two twos. Seconds. Good job by Griffith there. He understood where he was at, right? Sheets needed uh, 12 more seconds yeah. to get up to a minute riding time. But so they'll go on their feet and see what happens next. Yep. No one has scored a takedown yet. They've come from reversal and two escapes. A lot of action here, too, Jay. Oh, absolutely. There's a shot by Griffin back to the ankle. Sheets dives over the top. Griffin time that first. Traps a foot. Griffin's still in pretty good position here, though, trying to turn into Sheets. Sheets has got to hang on there with that foot. He's still got it, but now Sheets in better position than Sheets now than he was as far as not getting taken down. A minute left. 2-2 two -two top. Stalemate may be coming. And there it is. All right, the brick is out. I'm going to tell you what this brick is throwing for. So in this sequence, when Sheets was over the top, Coach Cole and his staff were saying that Sheets grabbed the shoe, not just the foot, but his hand was inside of the shoe. So they're going to take a look at this, and that's why Stanford ended up throwing that brick. It's a good challenge. Sure. Obviously watching it here, they're going to show the replay here. I don't think it's intentional. I think they're trying to wrestle in this position, but we're going to see what happens. So that's what the brick is for, which is a big sequence here. And, right. and they were explaining it to John Smith, J.R. Johnson, was he thought his shoe? Yep. Now Rob Cole's explaining yep. it to John. That's what I, they're talking about. These are two Wiley bets. These are two Wiley bets. He's got his hand inside so the shoe. It's hard to see right there. If you saw that right hand, that's what they're talking about. See that hand? It, man, I still couldn't tell if it was inside the shoe. Could Sorry, you? ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm pointing at our screen that's in front of us. <laughs> I'm acting like I'm at home in my living room. Really hard to tell. There. It's hard. It was it was Sheets' right hand is what they're going to be looking at. It would have to have been his thumb hooked in underneath the tongue of the shoe because the rest of his fingers were not inside. No, I think it's on the side of his ankle. This isn't the position here, but it's it, it's 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 already happened here. Yeah. I just I, I couldn't tell. So we'll see what they end up doing here with 51 and seconds. A huge left. call because if it's an illegal whole technical violation that gives Griffith the lead. So we'll see. Coaches are telling Rob Cole to get away so from John, the fish. Coach Smith and Coach Cole are having laughing. a good little laugh back and forth. Listen, <laughs> like I said, they're two Wiley vets, man. This is what uh, Cole's, he's over here smiling. He came over Coach here talking Smith to the officials. Shrugging. John started walking over. I think and Coach Smith kind of hit yeah, him with a nod. Hey, like you, you can't. can't. Back time, they can't, waved him yeah, away anyway. You can't do that. No, you can't, <laughs> can't talk to him while they're video oh, reviewing. You can't. You got to get out of their ear. And uh, oh, Rob Cole was saying, hey, well, it was a nice try. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So we're going to look at this. It's hard to see from this ankle, angle, ankle, speaking of, angle, but it's his right hand. It, it's way up under it's there way behind the body. It's, it's hard. We're going to see what happens. Like I said, it, it's a tough angle to look at, especially that Griffin's kind of sitting see. on his ankle. Yeah, no. So they're going to say, I think they're keeping the brick. There's no call. It's going to be two to two, I think. So no. And Rob Cole yeah. just said, oh, yeah. come on. Yeah. So I think yeah. it's probably yeah. not going to be a point. So 
to be honest, unless they had a different angle look at them, right, we did, right, it would have right, been right. really hard it's, to make It's hard call. to see in that position. No, two to two to no. score. They're on their feet. 51 seconds left, 2-2. Two, two. She tests 48 seconds right in time if somehow he could get a takedown. Now, but you got to watch it. Griffith has been in twice on Sheets' ankle, mm -hmm. and he's kind of timed it just right, using that length to get to Sheets' ankle. Sheets has got some good lateral movement. And Sheets a duck under, but no, nope, doesn't follow through. Elbow control duck. Griffith did a good job of getting his hips, hips back. Griffith is wide. Even stance, yes. not not one foot forward, but wide stance, it was parallel stance, and a lot of times that's a non-shooting stance. But Griffith has fired some shots. Yes, he has. Two on one tie by Sheets. Oh, Sheets tried to get to the side. Here comes Griffin with a shot, high double. But Sheets gets his legs back. Four seconds. We are going sudden victory. I like the action, Jay. I like the action. So here we go. This sudden, is fun. Sudden victory one. This is fun. Two minutes on the clock. Two minutes first on the clock. To score. They're getting that set right now. Keep in mind, Wyatt Sheets has a stalling warning. They're ready to go. That stalling warning carries over into the sudden victory. So yep. Sheets has got to make sure he stays aggressive. Can anyone score in this two minutes? Been some good scrambles. Sheets a duck under, just kind of a half. Single, oh, <laughs> Griffin, a half. <laughs> oh, Some good half shots. Hey, man. And then good rest. In the middle left, they're saying, nope. Oh, Sheets oh, misses one, oh, and Griffith counters. Griffith gets in on the leg off the Sheets shot. This could be critical. Sheets tried to hook his foot, tripping. But good job. Good. good job by both these guys. She's trying to turn in. You can watch that angle of that knee. Yep. 115 left. Griffith's doing a good job of bringing that up. Dive three coming, maybe? Sure. Or a trip. There's the trip. And Sheets fights it off for a moment. Then Griffith gets the takedown. Great match. job by Griffith. Yep, good match. It was almost in that position, Jay, when Sheets hit that duck under. Once again, he almost missed him. 107 on left in sudden match. victory. So it's 4-2 for Griffith. 9-6 to six the dual score. Griffith at 20 and 1, 21 and 1. Go with this now. takedown. Elbow control wide. Duck missed him. Sheets was able, or Sheets, sorry. Griffith was able to jump behind, capture Sheets' ankle, and end up scoring from this position. Good once job to both wrestlers. Up, yep, once he got that foot up, um, field goal, sat Sheets on his well, bottom, secured his two points. Good match by Gil's gentlemen, though. Good match. Well, I know coaches don't like to talk about moral victories, but for Sheets, a very good effort against the national champion.